And doctor, are there glutathione numbers that you test for? Um, mm -hmm. and, and what sort of conditions do you see people come in with where you say, you know what, we need to test for that? Well, again, I used to test a lot of my patients for glutathione, but then realize I, I, I used to check the RBCs. The RBCs' life's only 90 to 120 days. The WBCs we find is more accurate, the white blood cells. Mm -hmm. they, they have a longer life. And actually, a new test I've been doing, I measure the WBC glutathione levels as well as I measure a spectrox where they actually take the white blood cells and expose them to hydrogen peroxide to see how long it takes them mm. to die. The cells that contain the highest amount of glutathione and antioxidant, it takes them much longer to die. And they give you a value based on how long it takes to die. And the higher the value, the better the cells are, the more antioxidants they contain. So that's the test I prefer because I know if I can get my patient's level up to about 90 or 85 or higher, that's an A. That's excellent. They, they have tremendous antioxidant capabilities inside their cells, which is the most important part to be in.